Hello friends, this is the West Coast Math Tutor. In the last video, we learned that the angular speed omega is the central angle theta of a circle measured in radians divided by time. So when we have, for example, a central angle, which is two radians, swept out in one second, we have an angular speed of two radians per second, right? Now, what's new in this video is that angular speed is the way the turning rate of an engine is described. So let's say, for example, an engine idling at 900 revolutions per minute. What is the angular speed? of this engine. We know that one revolution is two pi radians, right? So 900 revolutions is 900 times two pi. Which is 1800 pi. So 900 RPM is 1800 pi radians per minute. We see that angular speed is the way the turning rate of an engine is described. Let's look at another example. Let's say an engine is idling 1000 at RPM. What is the angular speed of this engine? Again, what we have to do is to multiply 1000 by 2 pi. Which is 2000 pi. So the angular speed of an engine which idles with 1000 rpm is 2000 pi radians per minute. And we're done with this problem. What if we have an engine with an angular speed of 1200 radians per minute? How many revolutions per minute is the engine idling? In this case, we do the opposite. We just divide 1200 by 2 pi. which is 600 divided by pi. So an engine which has an angular speed of 1200 radians per minute idles with 600 divided by pi RPM. Again, the only thing we have to memorize here is that one revolution per time unit is two pi per time unit. I highly recommend memorizing this ASAP. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.